Okay, everyone, so I came out here to do one video. And after seeing what I'm seeing, I'm going to totally pivot as I'm getting destroyed by mosquitoes. And I'm going to do a different video. These Armenian cucumber plants have just been destroyed by aphids. And they're starting to spread to the other plant. So I think it's time to take these out, like right now. Okay, so right off the bat, aphids. They are a little nasty looking critter that once they start to infest your zucchinis, your squashes, tomatoes, your okras, basically whatever they start to infest, they're going to multiply like crazy. Now you can attack them with neem oil, um, solutions of like Dawn and water, and there's a million ways to get rid of them. You can even just wash them off and let them drown. I mean, they're really a, a weak, insect but in numbers they're horrible now the natural way to get rid of them is just letting nature do its thing like this you can see right there there are two ladybugs and those ladybugs have probably been going to town on the aphids just going nuts but I would need an army of <laughs> ladybugs to even begin to put a dent in this aphid problem that I have so we're just gonna rip out these plants. I'm gonna make sure the ladybugs, the two that I see, are safe. I'm gonna transport them somewhere else. I'm gonna move them somewhere else. But we're gonna get rid of all these plants. Now I've got, I think I've harvested three to four good size Armenian cucumbers off of this, these plants right here. So it's not gonna be a total loss. I was hoping for a lot more, but nature just came in and just annihilated these plants. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So even over here, on these plants that don't look too bad yet there's aphids all over them now as we start to swing over you can start seeing the damage big time now look at that they attack the flowers the leaves nothing's gonna grow anymore on this vine I mean look at how bad these leaves look some are even completely destroyed like that and if I back out, you can really see, oh, look at that lizard up here just hanging out. Look at that goofball. <laughs> all right, I guess he's overseeing the operation here. But as I back out, you can just see the damage on all these leaves. I mean, it's horrible. And what really is bad is that now that's affecting these melon plants. The aphids have gone over to the melons. So like I said, I was going to do a different video, but you know what, it's just time. I'm not with insects and pests destroying everything. So we're just gonna rip them out and uh, move on. Okay, so I've got the ladybugs. I am going to move them right now. All right, and there we go. About five minutes, six minutes to do all that. Now, as you can see, I had, I had a lot of tomato cages. What I was using as a trellis to get the vines up off the ground and to be able to utilize as much space as possible. But even with that, these vines grew so fast and, and just so much, it overwent. I mean, it even went over to the, I was pulling vines from over here and they were coming from over there. So these things really, really grew well, but I didn't have the proper trellis system set up to where air could flow through when it did rain or when I was watering, I didn't create an, an environment that would let aphids and other stuff breed like it did. So that's why this happened. But look at all of the <laughs> plant life right here. Look at all that. That is a lot. I don't know if I can really give a reference to how much material that is but that is a lot of material so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just soak all of this down and drown these aphids that are on here I'm also going to soak that entire bed I'm going to soak the living you know what out of it I want to kill all the aphids that are there and then all of this material is gonna go in my trash can it's not going in a compost bin or anything else it is going in the trash can I do not want these here 
so they are about to die now why didn't i just pull out all of the vines and just be done with it well let me show you well before i show you that look, there's a little tiny melon i just found doggone it now that was not an armenian cucumber but you can see what's growing in here there's a lot still growing and that is why i'm not going to pull all these out as i have literally have aphids crawling on my arm like right there Ugh. i do not like that but look i got a melon there I've got melons down there. I've got a bunch of other melons growing all through back in here. Until I'm ready to pull all of those out, or until they ripen, then I'm gonna yank everything out and totally get these beds ready for fall. Which will also have winter crops intermingled in with the fall crops. Because here, where I am, I can kind of do that. I don't really get a real winter. I wish I did, but we don't. So yeah, real quick video here. It was just something that I saw that I'm like, you know what, it's gotta come out. They've got to come out. They're not going to produce anymore and all it is is a breeding ground for those aphids. So that is why I did this. And then remember I said a few, three, four videos back that I'm gonna just start showing videos where I'm just doing stuff in the garden. This is an example. Not really teaching anything except basically what aphids are, how to get rid of them and why you wanna get rid of them because they will destroy your crops like crazy okay before i end this video since we are talking about aphids let me show you all something that just blows my mind with nature would you believe it if i told you that aphids and fire ants work with each other so if you look right there there's aphids on these acorn on, on these acorns there's aphids on these ochre plants and if you look around you can see fire ants patrolling those okras now, here's where nature blows my mind. Aphids produce a honey-like substance that the fire ants because fire ants will eat the honey-like substance that the aphids provide or produce. So, <laughs> You do not want aphids, and you do not want fire ants. So if you got both of them together, like I do, they can become a problem. All right, everyone, so again, a real short video. Just wanted to show what's going on in my garden. As always, if y'all enjoyed this video, if you learned anything from it, if you know someone's got an aphid problem, share this video, send it to them, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Take care, God hey. bless. Continue to shine bright and harvest hard. Get in your garden and harvest and harvest and harvest. And I'll talk to y'all again real soon.